Alexander the Great sticks you in the back. Heads up, Alexander. <laughs> he was like, I have eyes in the back of my head. All right, everybody. Baron here, and welcome back to a little game called Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. What you can see in the background right now is King Leonidas himself, one of the most famous of all Spartans who apparently just dislocated his leg in a, in a rare, or rarely seen, but often used, at least in tabs, by Spartan units. A combat move. I love this because you can see how powerful, oh my god, the shield punch. He punted that guy straight up in the air. What I love about this unit the most is the fact that he has a shield and a spear. I love the units that have two things going on specifically when they're different. That's pretty cool. However, what you're going to easily notice is look at how detailed the shield is, but even more so than that, the armor and the helmet that he is using is incredible the amount of detail on it like he's got abs etched into what i guess that'd either be bronze or leather and like the little kind of it is almost like a crescent moon of a of a uh what man i forget what the hoplite shields were called right but we're gonna call them hoplite shields this is getting me so so freaking excited for when tabs comes out whenever it comes out because obviously it didn't come out in 2017 it didn't come out in the summer the fall or the winter but what at least you know in a lot a lot of times that happens in development but at least at the very very least actually this is pretty cool i ain't even mad because it, it's like tabs gets better and better and better look at the armor look at the weaponry look at the combat moves that are going on right so we have those clips and then also we've got this little guy here and this is another first person mode because if they would have released it way way back when we wouldn't have first person control and all these like pretty cool moves he just he just hammer flipped him so like he hits the hammer he purposefully misses this farmer unit which by the way look at the detail of it right it's got even a new pitchfork where the where the edges of the spikes are curved a little bit to kind of like better represent a medieval pitchfork and I don't know, he kind of has this medieval looking outfit. Could he be a medieval peasant? Or is he a farmer unit? I don't think he's a farmer unit because he would have a farmer hat, right? I'm guessing he's a medieval peasant. But anyway, it's really cool. So basically what Landfall's doing right now is they're kind of, it seems that they're, they've got someone on the job now. So they brought in someone new to do armor and clearly it looks like clothes, weapons and stuff like that. So. With Leonidas being fully draped in, in war regalia here, and then we've got the hammer unit, well, and there's leather wrapped around the hammer hilt, which is interestingly enough. And then you've got the uh, fully robed up, uh, what I'm, I'm uh, guessing, I'm guessing it's a medieval peasant, right? It looks like it. Um, is fully is fully garbed up and so like it's it's pretty cool man the the amount of flavor flair and just I guess accuracy of the outfits and armor that are gonna be on the units is looking pretty cool can you imagine the battles we're gonna be able to do in totally accurate battle simulator oh my gosh man I'm so excited it's gonna be campaign it's gonna be sandbox I'm freaking excited and by the way I have a question now I want you to go over to the community tab on the YouTube channel. I want to start using this more for polls specifically. It'll be really, really good coming in handy like in the future. And what I want to know is who do you think would win? The Hammer Unit Guy or King Leonidas? We're going to be doing a simple poll as both a test and also just kind of to make you guys aware of that. But I'm actually pretty curious. I won't tell you my idea, but this is spot. I mean, that's who I think would win. All right, so we are back to the custom battles. Now, by the way, guys, after going to the community tab and doing that poll, who would win? Leonidas or the hammer unit? I guess it could be Thor's hammer. Although that was definitely bigger than Mjolnir, right? Which was Thor's hammer. How did I do, Swedes? Did I pronounce it right? So before we get into Colin Pierce's suggestion, which is the chicken revolution against Kentucky Fried Chicken, I want to ask you this. Do you guys want this to be a weekly series or bi-weekly series, aka a much more regular series? If you do, I want you to I want you to hit me up in them comments and let me know. A little community interaction in the comment section. I got to say, one thing I love about YouTube is the community that we've built. It's pretty impressive. That being said, we have Mr. Kentucky Fried Chicken Colonel Sanders himself. You sir are looking like you are paying a credo here to the uh, ancient samurai of Japan. Dude, 
Have you ever had Korean fried chicken? Oh my god, it's so good. It is so freaking good. Anyway, we got the Samurai Masters, Colonel Sanders, five Samurais as bodyguards, ten thieves as employees, and you know what I'm thinking? I know what y'all thinking. Let's do it. We're gonna start this one up. Ten thieves as the employees, fifteen shields as police officers. Why? I guess they got security guards because people want that fried chicken. And then we got ten Vikings as butchers. Then there is the chickens themselves. We've got the chicken man man who seems like he's gonna absolutely wreck this wreck this army. We've got five chicken men as the chickens, not to be confused with the other chickens here flying around. Look at this. I love getting slow-mo and zooming in here, man. It's really cool. It also helps me <laughs> read this stuff. Then we've got 25 farmers as vegans. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got 30 boxes of angry people and then there's one bear man as the rooster who is still alive And he looks like he's gonna smite this guy. Oh, he just he just knocked him straight out So that's another thing like take a look at this you want to see the future of tabs When you look at this these guys are gonna have spears. Maybe their shields are gonna be more accurate These guys are likely to have armor Everything is going to look so much more detailed than it already does. Now, an interesting I, an interesting thought is, will that take away from a little bit of that tab's charm? Or will it make the game even better? I'm pretty curious about that. As one, as arguably one of the biggest fans of this game of all time. Come on, guys. Now, how are we going to... You know what? The Vikings, aka the Kentucky Fried Vikings. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. We need more shield men to uh, stop those guys. So, I think what we need to do is we need to bring in the artillery. You may fire when ready. Gentlemen over here, prepare the cannons. And you know, we'll give you some musket, some musket guards. Imagine musketoons like uh, from wooden battles. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Okay, and then you know what? I think we need something. I think we need, we need a, another line of Vikings. I think that'll help. Now, will they be able to take down the Supreme Chicken, the leader of the Chicken Rebellion, overthrowing Kentucky Fried Chickens across the world? I'm pretty sure, actually, that McDonald's isn't even the most popular fast food chain across the seas. Uh, over <laughs> across the seas. Overseas, I think it's actually KFC. Because, I mean, who doesn't love chicken? Oh my gosh, yes. Ooh! Oh no, the chickens are coming in. Now, how do chickens do against cannons? Look, they didn't... Oh my gosh, they're breaking his knees. They're hitting him in the hips. Mr. Chicken Man, what if we had a giant chicken? We need a giant chicken that's pooping chickens. This is one of those things I really hope there's unit customization and uh, Steam Workshop support, because if so, I'm making a giant chicken. Actually, I'll be honest. Mm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, you know what? I'm going to keep some of my cards close to my vest. Because we got the ace of spades, son! Fire the cannons! You need to take out the chicken man! Oh, maybe we need... Oh, and pooped on. I want crossbowmen so badly. But in the absence of crossbowmen, how about some archers? I am archers, king of the Britons. King of the who? All right, so we've added the archers. There's going to be some friendly fire for sure. But those who survive are going to be in an interesting place and able to throw down arrows downrange. There's some, there's a lot more survivors over here. Now, how are these muskets gonna work? I think, I think that we have a chance this time. Oh, we definitely do. There's no surviving units and the chicken man man. You know what's funny? I've never done, at least in, in quite a long time. I have not done cannonballs versus a chicken man man. And it's so cool to see him physically get pushed back. And so many of the cannons are missing because he's got some dance moves. He's taking a lot of arrows to some very sensitive areas. Oh my gosh, I thought, it, like, it looks like he's gonna get knocked out. He just keeps going. His chicken men men, unfortunately. Oh my god, he's, there actually are. This guy's just chilling here, and this guy's like, what? Oh, because he's one of the one that was pooped out. I don't know, guys. It seems that Kentucky Fried Chicken is just dominating. All right, so what is it? It's the chicken man, right? Okay. Well, duh. All right, you know what? We're gonna bring in some Ghostbusters. Come on. You know, don't get mad. Or do. Or don't. Or do. But I've actually never seen Ghostbusters. Either one. The really bad new one, or the classic older one. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a bear man. I was like, ooh, he took a cannonball to the face. Now all this, all these lightning bolts should, oh my gosh. 
should help really silence him. Oh, but the chickens are definitely going to knock these guys out. Look at that. We've only got three Ghostbusters left. Ban it, ban it. Oh my gosh. I love the X's over their eyes. Look at him. He's holding the chicken like a stuffed animal. All right, guys. Can, are you going to be able to finally defeat the uh, chicken revolution? KFC is KFC stores are getting shut down worldwide because of a giant chicken that actually looks like a man in a robe. You know what? This robe looks awfully similar to that medieval pitchfork guy we saw fight the hammer guy. Come on. Oh, no. They're building up critical force. There's a lot of chickens taking cover, but it is victory for Colonel Sanders. Oh, my gosh. I want... I want cowboys and Indians. Guys, I want you to just spam the comments right now with the units that you'd like to see in tabs. Because I could just start list. I could probably make a 30 minute long video on tabs of me just saying words. And those words would be units I want to see in tabs. <laughs> anyway, so we've got Cold Cyan's suggestion. Battle of the many, many ellipses. Uh, Battle of the battle. So we've got two Samurai Masters, and they are going to be duking it out. This was one of the most uh, upvoted ideas, because Cold Cyan is a bit of a community hero over here on the channel, which I love, by the way. It's, it's fun to see members of the community who are active, consistently active, kind of make a name for themselves. I think that's kind of cool when they contribute in that fashion. I'm going to pick my color after the battle happens. And by the way, these comments were uh, from a month ago. Thank you, guys. Now, here's another question, and this one we're going to be put in, in the comments. Oh, look, I won, because I'm a Samurai Master. <laughs> Next map. Woo, what about ice skating units or bear cavalry? Landfall, can we please get bear cavalry? Who was that Russian guy? Isn't that like, <laughs> I don't think it actually happened, but like, oh my God, why did I say it was a Russian guy who like actually did it? Look at that, we fight in the air. Oh my God, this is awesome. I want, I want the ability to just have my camera, it'll start where the camera ended off. That would be a nice little feature. I wonder how difficult that would be done. Look at that, what are you guys doing down there? Oh, we're just taking a quick nap. Yeah, <laughs> and Red stole his sword. That was pretty cool. He disarmed them and took him out. All right, so what we've got here is Pokemon Champion Size suggestion, the Battle of Issus. This is Macedonia. This is Alexander the Great. Uh, Alexander the Great, which when you're Greek and great at the same time, versus Darius III's Persian Empire. So over here are the Immortals. Oh my gosh, see, there you go. I, there's an, a unit I would love to see, an Immortal. And I think that could be just a cosmetic skin and maybe, uh, maybe like, you know, I don't know, man. It depends. Oh my gosh, the imagination. So yes, these are the immortals. Then we've got a few chariots as heavy cavalry. I opted to go for less chariots because currently I feel like the chariots and tabs right now, and this is like, these guys are like over a year old now, aren't very, I don't really like them. And then we've got uh, 20 footmen as Greek mercenaries here on the flank facing off against their opponents, other Greek foot soldiers. Um, and then they've got archers as well. And then there's the Greeks, or Macedonians rather, which are, they've got, oh, we need the spear throwers, hold on. So yeah, I forgot to put the spear throwers in because I was like, man, I definitely think these guys are gonna win because they've got archers. So we'll just go whoop. And you know, it won't be an exact 30, but it'll be pretty decent, right? So we've got the spear throwers as, oh my gosh, I forgot the Persian Empire 40 spearmen as well. You know what, we're gonna try this, and then we'll see how it plays out, and then we'll add stuff as needed. Okay, so Greek Peltis, I would love to see Slingers. We've got Footmen as Heavy Infantry, we've got Chariots as Cavalry, 30 Spearmen in a Phalanx, and man, I cannot wait for Pikemen to do proper Phalanxes, so let's start this one up. I wanna see, oh no, this Chariot. This Chariot is absolutely gonna run. But here, the lines are clashing, we put them up. Here's Darius the Third, the Giant Bearman, oh my gosh, just straight to the head, took out one of the Macedonian failings, but he just ninja kicked this guy. Heads up, Darius! <laughs> oh no! Oh my gosh, yeah. See, see how chariots just absolutely wreck it. I love it because it's just chaos and carnage. But if you want, if you want like really like uh, good battle formations and like interesting little clashes, <laughs> chariots have a way of throwing Murphy's Law. Oh my gosh! Oh come on, flip over. Oh, look, Alexander the Great. Oh, he was alive. He took an arrow to the thigh, and then he got knocked out. Oh, my gosh, that guy got pin cushion. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, it definitely looks like the Persians are going to win here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off these chariots real quick. 
Come on here, we're gonna take these off. And then we're gonna add a delayed reinforcement of spearmen for the Persians and see how that affects things. That should be a decent amount of reinforcements. It depends, I think these archers could definitely mop up. Let's see, where's Alexander the Great? Where, Alex? Did you already get knocked out? Oh, here he is with his personal bodyguard. We might have to change where they are. Oh boy. Yeah, this- Oh, that poor- They took each other out. <laughs> I'm gonna- It's gonna be so much fun with a medieval faction and a viking faction. Cause- Oh my gosh, what a play, dude! He did the little spinning like- He turned into a human tornado. Alright, so we need to change where Alexander the Great is. And I'm gonna put them right behind this. So that they should help right away. So we're gonna, gonna get his, the Samurai Master for him, and then his personal retinue, nine of these guys. So we'll put the extra one over there. All right, now let's go ahead and see. Oh, there's the clashing in the line. The Greek phalanx here. Oh my gosh, sword's going into space. Excalibur. It's gonna land in a stone somewhere down a lake and someone's gonna have to get it in there. There you go. What's his name? King Arthur. King Arthur, the, uh, the king of the Britons, hmm? That would be an interesting unit. Hello, who wants a spear? Give me, uh, some macaroni and cheese and I will give you the spear. Oh, you're gonna take a nap, are you? Okay. Alexander the Great sticks you in the back! Heads up, Alexander! <laughs> he was like, I have eyes in the back of my head. Oh, look at this guy. If we can get some spears in this guy, we can slow him down. Oh, incoming arrows. This is gonna definitely... Heads up, he's gonna go fast. Ooh, and... No one's- they're not getting any spears on him, and they desperately need to, or else this is just not gonna work. Oh yeah, Alexander the Great did take out Darius, but his entire army is defeated. Okay, so, you know what? They may not have used them. You know what? Whatever, man. We're gonna have- we're gonna have a few ballistas, and I wanna see how those things play out over here on the flanks. No, 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 you're supposed to focus on the other flank. Well, you guys are particularly derpy to the- today, aren't you? Wait, maybe we should fly it over that way. What if two ballista bolts hit each other? Has anyone ever seen that? I've never seen that. And that's what I love about tabs is like, even still, you'll see things that you've never seen done before. They've just never worked out that way, like... Oh, I love it. Like, we were on the neon map in the last episode, and just like, the little guys on the guard towers, that was like one of the funniest things. This is not gonna turn out well. Oh, and they got smited. Well, it seems Darius is winning, but what if we take a play out of the last custom battle where we saw? What if they, what if, <clears throat> just bear with me for a moment. What if the Greeks invented Kentucky Fried Chicken? I don't know. Let's see what would happen in totally accurate history. All right, you better start pooping these chickens out, guy, because they're coming, man. Oh, they're coming. Get him! get him! Start pooping the chickens faster. Oh, you got stuck, son. Oh, man. Is Alexander- Alexander's down. That- in all- dude, archers. Archers are definitely the, uh, game changer here. Okay, so we're gonna see the Greeks loose again. Even though they may have or may not have- I'm not saying they did, I'm just saying they might have. Hmm, let's give- you know what? They're gonna arm the peasants. The peasantry! And you know what? This should definitely help the battle lines over here. Or, you know, they could always do something a little secret. Oh my gosh, unit's falling off! Oh! I'm not trained for this! Oh, yes you are! Way to recover! Oh, this is not gonna be good. These guys are going overboard. The Vikings going, no! <laughs> this is awesome. I love when battles are like on the edge of the map. Oh, yes, I love it, I love it, I love it. They won the battle now. Now they've got to charge these archers and it's probably not gonna go very well. They do have a chance though. But they're gonna get cut down. But will it delay these- oh my gosh. They're so good. Yeah, I actually think- I still think that the Greeks are gonna lose. Ooh! But those- the exploding ballista bolts, who would have thought? It'd be cool if like there was like the Asian version, which was kind of like the Hawacha. Wait a minute. I don't think I've used a Hawacha in s far too long, so what we're gonna do is change this up. They- they sent a, uh, a trireme. It took like forever to get over to the Orient, to the East. And then they got access to this technology, which was the Hawacha, which is clearly misplaced because it's literally hitting nobody. It got three archers. Is that enough to change the tides of battle? Clearly not. All right, let's reposition it. But yeah, I, I like rarely use Hawachas. 
We need to get some like Asian uh, history. Now, was it was it the Chinese versus the Mongols, or was it the Koreans against the Japanese that used the watches? I think it was against the Mongols. Because I think, what, the whistling rockets, like, scared the horses or something? Or, I don't know. If there's any guys with spears, uh, is Alex up? Alex is up! Alexander the Great, start! Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, you better start hitting them, son. Because you've taken a lot of arrows, you're fighting bravely. You may not be able to produce children. But you know what? You're gonna you're gonna do your best here. Oh yeah! Finally, we just had to get some watches in there. <laughs> See, I've never seen that. The arrow derped out and caught him, and then ragdolled him, and that's a victory. Baron's Brigade, where are you at? Do you want to see a weekly or bi-weekly tabs episode? Who do you think would win by this one? Use the community tab on YouTube, please. Who do you think would win, Leonidas or like the dude with that huge hammer? And then what custom battles would you like to see in the next one? And I hope you're having a fantastic Saturday. And I'll see you guys in the next video.